welcome back to decentralized news so this is just a quick video prompted by a project that i just came across which i'm still trying to wrap my head around what is up with this particular project but i just thought let me share it with you this is a project called uni socks so they have a uh, token with the ticker so cks so socks and currently being traded on uh, Uniswap V3, Uniswap V2. So it is described as an experimental NFT listed on the Uniswap exchange, which represents a real pair of limited edition and dynamically priced socks that users can purchase from anywhere in the world. So holders of socks can sell them through the Uniswap platform anytime that they want. And furthermore, it can also be used to redeem the pair of socks that the token actually represents so uniswap warns that unisocks is uh, pretty much like an experimental project on the protocol which means that it's very very risky to invest in anyone with an erc20 compliant token can purchase socks every time a socks is purchased its value increases which is why it is referred to as the uh, bonding curve model so the people that are actually behind this are um the uniswap founders themselves which is the founding team uh this uh project first came to the limelight i think it was 2019 at the fluidity summit in new york in uh, keeping with the zany and envelope pushing nature of DeFi in 2020 unis uh, unisox project made it seem completely absurd obviously at first glance in a game uh, between uh, DeFi uh, dickens and uh, however the end goal is shifting the borders of DeFi applications is very serious indeed according to what they're saying much like the meme token that transformed the world of nfts just last year if we think about some of these uh, uh, nft projects that are you know might seem like they have a very big or high overvalued uh, prices on them so uni socks is an experimental project like i said unlike uh, other nfts in DeFi, uh socks actually follows a bonding curve model governing its price which enables the early adopters to earn more profit than the late majority so this is because when there are more tokens bought and brought to the supply its value actually increases accordingly as well so how it works is that the bonding curve model is facilitated by a smart contract which is designed to function as an automated market maker with very specific purposes related to the tokens in circulation so first the model allows for the initial minting of the purchase of the token um, based on the price determined with the smart contract then the supply of the token will di dictate uh, how the token will be valued later on. If the token supply increases, then the uh, in price increases as well. All the assets used to purchase these NFTs, uh, which is uh, socks, in this case, are kept in a different smart contract, which is lab labeled the reserve pool. So finally, in socks, the corresponding NFT gets burned, uh, which simply means that it is removed from the circulation as soon as it is redeemed for a pair of uh, real socks this is a very crazy uh, project uh, in my opinion because if you look at the token price on the day of recording this it is actually over eighty thousand dollars which is pretty much double the price of bitcoin and uh, yeah you know buying socks is supposed to be very easy users can just you uh, visit the interface, Unisox interface uh, from the Uniswap web page and connect it with their crypto wallet. After that, they can uh, purchase the socks that they want through the ERC compatible tokens, including ETH, BAT, DAI, KNC, uh, and ANT as well. And uh, this is, I think, a project that everybody just needs to sort of look into because I think what it represents as an experiment is an idea of. Uh, what i feel like th there's more to come as far as uh, how DeFi and nfts and uh, sort of value exchange and transfer and uh, uh, that sort of thing is going to pan out as far as uh, how we will see these nfts and some of these projects develop in the future again you know if you think about crypto punks uh board apes uh, in some such projects, yes, the valuations of the tokens could seem crazy. I'm not a holder of socks. I don't think I'll be trying to get into that one anytime soon. 
if at all uh, and uh, yeah but I just thought I'd uh, share it with you guys it sounds very interesting double the price of BTC as I speak let me know what your thoughts are let me know what other project projects that you've seen that uh, intrigue you and don't forget to check out the links in the description like share subscribe turn on the notification bell I'll see you people in the next video peace and love and